Also, law enforcement, rescue services, and private citizens took part in defense drills as well at a subway station in the capital, an exercise on how to respond to terrorist attacks. Cha Sang-mi takes us closer to the thick of the action. An everyday subway journey turns into chaos as smoke fills the car and people rush outside to escape. Poisonous gas has been released in the train just now, and a bomb threat is waiting ahead in the subway station. This lifelike situation is a part of a mock counterterrorism simulation drill that took place at one of Seoul's subway stations at 2 p.m. Tuesday local time. As part of the annual Utsi Freedom Guardian contingency exercises, Seoul Metro held a civil defense drill at Sadang Station. The stimulation didn't just end with chemical specialists and rescue teams arriving to save the passengers. The anti-terror exercise continued in the subway station where police and special military units moved in and finally subdued the terrorists. The stimulated bombing and poison gas attacks were to prepare the public for possible terrorism incidents on a subway car or within the station. The purpose of today's drill is to ensure the security of passengers and the safe operation of our trains. We aim to improve our personnel's ability to cope with crisis and help civilians quickly escape in such emergencies. Apart from the 250 personnel from the police, armed forces, fire department and local government, 60 civilians also took part in the drill. It was held by Seoul Metro in conjunction with six other agencies. I thought this drill experience was really useful as I can really put this exercise into use in case of any emergency situation. I can't imagine what the real situation would be if this is just a simulation. I was so scared. Seoul Metro advises citizens to make use of emergency equipment inside the station in case of emergency. Passengers are first advised to press the emergency button and make the subway staff aware of the situation. Then use the fire extinguisher to put out any small fires or use a hammer to break the subway window. Passengers should then push the bar on the platform screen doors so that they can escape the car before following the evacuation signs to get out. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.